Hello, everybody. I recently had some interest in how to get Open Speed Test installed on Docker on your local network. So we're going to go through, we're going to prep a fresh server, and we're going to get that installed. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to clone a GitLab repository. Git clone. gitlab.com slash bmcgonag slash docker underscore installs. And then we're going to change into docker underscore installs. All right. If we do lslah, you can see that the install script is not executable. So we're going to remedy that by doing chmod plus x install docker nginx proxy manager and the nice thing about this script is that you don't have to be root to run it it will prompt you for sudo credentials when necessary so in this case we're running a 2204 server so we're going to select number four Enter sudo password, docker ce, yes. Compose, yes. Everything else is gonna be no. And it's gonna go through its install. I'll speed this up in post just to make this video a little bit shorter. All right, as you can see by the Ending message, if you want to install some of those other applications, you can rerun this installer. But for the sake of argument for this video, we are going to install a piece of software called Dockage. This is from the same guy that makes Uptime Kuma. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this line here. We'll come back over here. We are going to change to the root user. And then we're going to paste this in. So make directory slash opt slash stacks and slash opt slash dockage. And we're going to change into the directory. We're going to download the YAML file. Paste that in. Then we are going to run docker compose up dash D, which will run it as a daemon. And that means that it's going to start running in the background. It will pull down some things that it needs. And then we will be in business and this will be accessed on port 5001. All right, if we do docker ps, we can see that we do have dockage running on port 5001. We can go back to our browser and it's going to prompt to make an admin account. And we're in Dockage. Now, Dockage is a web-based manager for Docker. Similar, but maybe a little simpler than Yacht or Portainer. So we're going to go to the Add Compose button. And then we're going to come over to Open Speed Test right here. Um, we can copy this. We can come back to Dockage. And we can take and select everything in here and paste in what we copied. We've got to give it a name. Open Speed Test. And so this is going to restart unless you stop it. And accessed on port 3001 and it's going to grab the latest version so if we say save 
and then we can say start and that will pull down the image it needs and it's going to start up and the status says started so we can come over here and go to our IP address port 3001 it's actually port 3000 update my notes while we're at it and so this is going to test from the computer I'm recording this on to that uh, virtual machine on my Proxmox server that's running Docker and so I wouldn't take these speeds with a whole lot of merit uh, because my machine that I'm recording this on has a two and a half gig Ethernet card. Uh, that one over there has a one gig card. And after this test is done, I'll show one other test. And you can see what speed is happening between two virtual machines on the same host. So if we come over here, we've got a Mint VM, and we will reload this, and we'll run a speed test from here. And so both these VMs are running on the same box. Now, if I had a two and a half gig network card in the server, that I could plug into the same switch that I've got my main machine on, we would see higher speeds than what we got in that last test. So I just wanted to show that it is capable of speeds higher than what was showing in this initial test over here. Uh, still, this is not awful on a local network. Uh, but I do question whether I've got some potentially bad cabling somewhere in the mix. But in any event, that is how to get Open Speed Test installed in Docker on your local network. I will put information in the description on the three projects that I used, the Docker install script, the dockage install, and the open speed test install. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.